The Hawkeye and Cyclone football teams of tomorrow were decided today. In Iowa, 24-7 Sports ranks the 2022 Cyclone class 29th in the nation, 4th in the Big 12. The 21 commits include four-star defensive lineman Hunter Deo of Lewis Central. You're talking about getting guys from programs that understand what it takes to be successful, know how to win, and then to be able to bring those qualities to Iowa State and continue to infuse our locker room with those very qualities. 24-7 ranks the Hawkeyes 25th, 6th in the Big Ten, 17 commits, including Aaron Graves from Southeast Valley and Southeast Polk's Xavier Wampa. Our biggest asset continues to be when prospects come to Iowa City. Uh, be it, you know, to go to a game in Kinnick, uh, but more, most importantly, I think just to experience Iowa, experience what it's going to be like to go to school here, be a part of the program. Wampa is the top recruit in Iowa and the top safety in the nation. Three SEP standouts signed their national letters of intent today. The first, you know, Wampa's commitment to the Hawkeyes lit up the Iowa sports world last week. Wampa is Iowa's highest rated recruit ever. Teammate Jackson Daly, the Rams quarterback, signs with Arkansas State. And one of the linemen that blocked for Daly, Kate Borod, is headed to North Dakota. That's been pretty positive. Everyone's like excited to see me like staying home for sure. And just like seeing like I've actually chosen where I wanted to go and everyone's just been super supportive. Yeah, it's, uh, it's surreal. Um, you know, ever since I was a little kid, I've wanted to be a D1 football player and uh, to kind of get the pen to paper and uh, get that all official, you know, it, uh, it feels really good. I mean, a lot of weight off my shoulders for sure because I don't got to worry about the recruiting process anymore. But, you know, I, should, I mean, you still can't put it into words. I mean, it's just, I'm going to play college football, Division One level. I mean, it's just, it's, it's amazing. Across town at Valley High School, tight end Eli Raridan made it official with Notre Dame. Raridan was undeterred by a coaching change and now becomes a legacy member of the Fighting Irish. Eli's dad, Scott, was an offensive lineman. I mean, this has been a lifelong dream of mine. Uh, you know, growing up, watching my dad play in South Bend, uh, rooting, rooting for them my whole life. Uh, you know, I didn't, I, don't, I really didn't think growing up it was going to be a possibility. It seemed good, too good to be true, and to sign that pen to the paper today was just it meant everything to me. Valley had another D1 signee in defensive lineman Jacob Allen. He's going to Drake.